Roswell Flight Test Crew here at the University of Hawaii in Hilo, and we're here to check out some of the ways they're using drones. All right, so I'm here with Nathan Stevenson, who's a geospatial research specialist. Good to see you, Nathan. How's it going, Patrick? Good, good. What kind of problems are you guys trying to take on with drones here in Hawaii? Right now, one big problem is ROD, which is something that we're surveying aerially with drones. ROD? What is that? So ROD stands for Rapid Ohia Death, which is a fungal disease that is affecting native forests. Oh, so it's wiping out trees? Yes. Now, how can drones help you solve that problem? So they allow us to cover a lot more area than manned helicopters would, and much more safely as well. You're doing like aerial surveys, map making? Precisely. Basically, we're trying to cover as much area as we can so that we can tell the Forest Service or other management parties if this area has rod. So when you go out and do this, what is your actual technical application? What is the drone physically doing in the sky? Basically, it's just collecting images, and then we can bring those images back to our processing lab where we can conduct actual analysis. It's developing three-dimensional mo models and then also orthomosaics. So what are you looking for, and then how do you actually do the processing? Basically, rod is very easy to spot because there's a color difference between a live healthy tree and a rod tree. So right now, it's a manual approach, and that's something that uh, I do myself. Through Structure from Motion, which is a type of photogrammetry, we can develop three-dimensional accurate models of our study region. So how's the fight going? What is the data you've developed so far telling the experts who are looking at this? Um, well, right now the fight is kind of just a monitoring approach. So we're learning things like mortality rates, how long does it take from first symptom to death, and then also spread. You're going out and flying like once or twice a month, right? Yeah, it can be one once or twice a month per site, and we have a number of different sites that we're currently conducting. Well, you want to show us the hardware that actually does the flying? Of course. All right. This can go 25 minutes on this. Go ahead, it's it's like one pound. It's, it's, oh, it's, yeah. It's almost nothing. Boy, even compared to a disco or an e yeah. so, so when did you retire this little uh, guy? We actually retired it a couple of months ago. Wow. Yeah. Well, a piece of history here. This is yeah. your first UAV? Uh, this is the university's first uh, main UAV, yeah. So these are our trainer aircraft that we use for students to get their first flying time in. Got it. And what about over here? I see Big Brother. Yeah, so the Inspire is our professional series uh, solution that we use at, for actual mapping. Okay, okay. And it looks like we've got the Zen Muse XT on here. Yes, we do. That's our newest edition that we're hoping to do uh, water mapping with. Very cool. So what do we got here? This is a little bigger. So this is our mapping grade RGB Ivan. All right, what's its story? Nader mounted camera? Nader mounted gibble stabilized camera. Um, and it's got a hatch here and it carries a Sony QX100. Ah, very cool. How long will this beauty fly for? So, full battery, this flies for about 18 minutes. And all autonomous control, I assume. Of course. Yeah, yeah. And you've got antennas on the roof for uh, telemetry? Telemetry, GPS, the works. All right. And you've got a, a looks like you got Big Brother over here. Yeah, so this is our twin brother Ivan hyperspectral Ivan. So this carries the head wall nanospectral radiometer. That's a mouthful. Right here. So is this guy even flown yet? So this we just received last week. The rubber bands are still on the propellers. <laughs> it's maiden voyage will be next week. All right. Well, Nathan, thank you so much for showing us all your cool toys here and best of luck as you continue your research. Yeah, thanks for coming by, Patrick. Absolutely, all right. So that's it for us from the University of Hawaii. To keep up on the latest on drones, be sure to click subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Fly safe.